Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video today is going to be on Freeline Art and I've asked permission from three people who I'd like to thank in this video, which is Daria87, uh, Starblast and also Esquit Designs. I hope I, I, oh, Esquit say, I hope I said that right, Designs. So they've given me permission to use these video or use their line arts in this video. So I'm going to get straight into it. Um, Whenever you use other people's line arts, you have to be very aware of whether you can use their line art or whether you can't, okay? Because some line arts aren't free to use. Now, you can't actually see the picture here, but there is actually an image there. Um, so if you if you go onto DeviantArt or some places, there's other websites, most of these people will say whether you can use their line art and in what shape or form you can use it. And also you need to be aware of... Uh, some don't allow them to be used for horse. Uh, some of them don't allow it to be used at all. Some of them you can do whatever you want with. Um, and other ones, they have certain requirements that you have to stick to. Um, and if it's the case, if you come across line art, if you type into Google um, to search for line art, you want to make sure that you can use it. And if you can't verify that you can use it, then don't use it because you don't want to be in the situation where you submit something to horse. Um, in the Black Pearl, and then you get uh, done for plagiarism because it's seen as somebody else's work. So you want to make sure that you don't, you know, lose karma or you'll lose passes as well because if you sent in some drawings that are using somebody else's line heart who doesn't allow them for horse or anything like that, you could lose it. Now, some line artists are very well known and they're very well known for them being free line, free line arts. Um, so I'm just going to sort of give a couple of examples here. So Starblast here has, you know, this work is for any player, of course. And they have rules here, sorry, um, that you can see. So where, you know, you can use it where you want, but you have to always credit them on the image or post in the description. Um, so you only remove the signature whenever you send it in for the Black Pearl. So if it, if you post it in the Black Pearl forum or any other forum online, you need to post the a credit this person is having created it. So, and also she said here, if you use it for horse, you do not make any changes. So you don't, you can't put wings on it. Uh, you can't add objects. You can only, you know, you could only add a horn, so you could make it a unicorn. No other. So that's that's their requirements for this particular drawing. Now you need to make sure when you look at a drawing what requirements. So I'm going to show you one where you, which you can actually see here. So this is what we're talking about here, the signature here. So if we actually scroll down here, this one says you're not authorized to work in any shape or form. If that, if you see this symbol on Davenart, that means you can't use it at all. If they say that you can't use it. So basically if you took this line art, you colored it in and you put it in the forum and then you sent it into the black pearl, that's plagiarism. And then you're in trouble. Okay, so that's just an example of one you couldn't use. So here, Daria87 has actually listed out the rules about her line art. So you could go in there and you could actually have a read of that. So, you know, as she's sort of saying the same kind of things that you need to make sure you credit it. And, you know, you can't, you know... You can't be disrespectful to these people. They spend a lot of time providing these free learners, you know, out of goodwill um, often. And it's only right that you respect the, you know, the things that they put around their work. So I'm going to show you some of Daria's works now. So this is a free use line art. And this is the thing that I was talking about, the signature. So this tells you exactly what it is. It was free to use, where it's from. That is what they're talking about. So if I was to take this horse here, okay, if I was to save that to my computer, color that in, I shouldn't ever, should not remove this or this bit here until I actually send it to the Black Pearl. So when I post it to the forum, that should still be on it. Should, or if I take that off, I need to actually say it as soon as I post in the actual post, you know, here's the image and the lines belong to Daria, you know, at and then this is the address. So then we've got here, we've got feel free to download and color this artwork. So follow these rules. So, you know, as I said, you can just click on those and it'll take you to her rules. And some of the other artists will have these as well. So it's very easy to go in there and read and a couple of five minutes reading that and you'll know exactly what you can do with it.
So she said that the usage for the Black Pearl or Horse.com is allowed. Some artists will explicitly say that you can't use it for horse. Some of them will flat out say that. So there's another one that's sort of the same. And this is a said is the signature that they're talking about or the you know that you're not supposed to remove until you actually send it in. And if you do take it off, you need to make sure that you you put it in the description. So here's another one. Um, and in this case, she said, free learner, do whatever you want with them. You know, so, you know, you could quite possibly put a horn on there. So you could put a little modification in there, but you'd still say that she'd made it, right? So these are sort of the things that you need to be aware of. Basically, whenever you use freeline art, um, there's nothing wrong with using freeline art to practice um, if you're not going to submit it, right? On some servers, people will say you can't use freeline art at all. Some servers will say you can. To be honest, it's so widespread. There's so many different opinions and there's no real sense of complete and utter, um, I suppose, continuity, really, that just be smart about it. If you're not sure, go in and ask, maybe in the Black Pearl Farm and say, do you know of any free line arts that I can use and I can submit on this server? That's probably the easiest way if you're not sure. Um, but you know, if you go into Google and you type Google Images and search horse line arts, you can get loads, but a lot of them probably are copyrighted. Um, you maybe can't modify it. So modification is, you know, if I I'm just gonna click on another one here. Okay, so if this is one of the other ones here. Now, if I was to uh, say, say it said down here that I couldn't use this for horse and also I couldn't modify it. So modification would be if I added wings or if I added a horn or I changed something, you know, about it. Like, obviously, it doesn't, it's not going to matter if you colour in the horse blue or you colour it red. That's not really a modification because you're the one that's going to be colouring it. But things that change the actual line art itself add things to it. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Um, and if you're... If you're worried, okay, that if you, and also, as I said, don't trace. If you went on and you traced this and you claimed it was your own work, that's also not allowed. Um, you know, the other thing is, if you're really not sure, use your own line art. But there are free line arts out there that are great for practicing, great for improving, and they see if you have to draw. So, you know, you can just start into colouring. If you really want to improve your own colouring work, but if you want to get better at your line arts, you need to draw your own line art and be able to accept people's critique and things like that. So guys, I hope this was help helpful. Thank you once again to Daria87, Starblast and Esquis Designs. I really don't think I'm saying that right and I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, anyway guys, hope you had a lovely day. Bye bye.